Welcome again to this second video tutorial. In the previous video, we saw together how to successfully log into the IDF School of Diabetes platform. And at the end of the video, we saw how the course progress bar was appearing in the dedicated web page after logging. So this is quite important for you to making sure that you are progressing in the right way in your course, uh, thanks to the color coding um, that is mentioned. So you can see here the green, uh, the green tab completed. Obviously, your course has been completed, and you can go to the next one. The orange tab in progress. That means that either you haven't started your module yet, or you're taking it and you haven't yet submitted. Um, but in order to go to the next module, you need your module to be marked as completed and turned green. Um, so let's try to do a simulation right now, as if I was a learner and I wanted to progress uh, in my course. So I will always have to click on the title itself. Here. You have here this little option beneath download module but I, that is only for downloading the PPT that's for your own reference but in order to be marked as completed you need to click on the title itself so let's try to do it right now with I think is module 4 on clinical practice recommendations yes that's it you'll have here on the side a little menu um, an overview which the different with the different uh, the steps, four in total, the pretest, the module, the post-test, and the feedback. So starting with the pretest, you will have to click on launch. And then taking the different questions. So you have here a little instructions recap before taking it. We'll not read it right now. And the pretest starts. For, so for the the purpose of the video, I'll just pick randomly, and I'm not paying attention to the to the questions and the answers. Just clicking like this, so I can show to you how it how it works and the overall flow. And there we go. So you can notice that my score is pretty, pretty poor, um, but that's not important. Uh, I just wanted to show you how you complete your pretest. And there we go. You can you can launch your module from now on. Taking a little bit of time to load. Oh, so you just click on play. There, you're on start. Welcome to the Diabetes eLearning Suite module on management guidelines for type 2 diabetes in primary care. So I'll just Launch the module, but I will not go through this module on man. I'll not go through all the 38 slides. Just want to show you that here you have this little arrow to diabetes arrest. is a worldwide and this little arrow to go back if you want to, to check something again or something uh, that you had a, a, a doubt on. Um, but that's it. So we'll see together. Um, see each other in, in in the next video so I can show you the different steps with the post test and the feedback and as you can see I have completed my module I've been through the 
38 slides and now I can take my post test. So you have here the little option at the very bottom, launch post test, just click on it and you'll be ready to test your knowledge on this module through different questions. Taking some time to load. There we go. You click on launch. Same thing for as for pretest, a few a few instructions. We'll not read it right now, and just click on launch post test, and there we go. So the questions begin. Same thing for the purpose of the the video. I will not read the questions and and, and pick the right answers. If I'm lucky enough, perhaps. and going through the different questions. There we go. So this is the final, um, not the final, there's still one, one step to go in order to complete uh, entirely a module. Here you have your score. Um, um, your score recap, really low, but that's that's no more in our case. And you can hear, you can see here at the bottom, the, this little button, share feedback. You just click on this one. It's taking some time to load. So it's taking a little bit um, too much of time. So we'll see in the next video to, to check the feedback and the different questions that you will need to, to answer in order to submit uh, your feedback. And here we reach the final stage with the feedback. So here are different questions and you will have to um, respond. What was your opinion on here, for example, how clear were the module objectives, the module contents were illustrated with, blah, 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 blah. So just, just check randomly, questions, do you think the course, object, the course objectives were reached? Yes, mm, that's pretty excellent, that's five stars. And you have this little submit button, just click on it. And there we go. So. Your feedback has been submitted successfully and now you can go back to the main page just clicking here back to all modules and you'll be redirected to your course progress bar and you'll repeat the same action with the next module pharmacological management blood glucose lowering medicine and so on and so on until you reach module 8 final self-evaluation, and then you can take your final assessment. Same thing again, uh, you will be asked to share your feedback, and then you'll be able to, to download your course certificates, and you'll be awarded with your CPD points. So thank you for attending these video tutorials. I hope that it will help you to progress through your course and complete it entirely. And I wish you the best in all these learning materials and we hope you to see you to see you back in the IDF School of Diabetes.